Data-related jobs are incredibly popular and continuing to grow in demand. All the different job titles, though, they can be a little confusing. I'm Jen, and I'm going to walk you through the differences between a data engineer versus a data scientist. Let's look at data engineers first. What does a data engineer do? If you think of data analytics like a timeline, data engineers work at the very beginning of that timeline on the back end. These positions are often situated within the IT department, though it can vary from organization to organization. Data engineers' main focus is providing a reliable infrastructure for all of the data that everyone else is going to use. This means that data engineers work on gathering, processing, storing, and delivering data. There is analysis work involved in this, but it's more from a programming perspective. What's the best method to store information? How should it be configured with all of the other data that's already being stored? Who needs access and what structures might they need access to the information in? These are more of the type of analytics that a data engineer is dealing with. They're not really going to typically deal with data analytics or data science in the sense that we typically think of it. That is, they're not actually analyzing the content of the data itself to get insights from that data. They're analyzing it for the structure and deciding how it might need transformed and stored for others in the organization to analyze. In smaller organizations, there tends to be a lot more overlap between data engineers and data scientists, where people in either role may be called on to do the more complete spectrum of work that in larger organizations are typically kept in different positions. The work that data engineers do is equally important to the work that data scientists do, but they tend to be much less visible. We tend not to talk as much about the cleaning process, the structure process that needs to happen before we can even start the analysis work. Data engineers are often more behind the scenes in the organization than what a data scientist or even a data analyst would be. Talking about this role wouldn't be complete if we didn't also cover data engineer skills. These skills include data structures, data warehousing, cloud platforms, and SQL databases. Data engineers are often expected to know SQL and Python and may need knowledge of some other languages as well. Additional tools required for some data engineer roles include Spark, Amazon Web Services, Java, and there's a host of other things in more niche areas of this work. Data engineers also need knowledge of how the information that they're working with is going to be utilized. For really good organizations, this gap is relatively narrow. There's good communication between data engineers, data analysts, data scientists, and the rest of the business as to what's going to be done with all of this information. This helps data engineers structure the information in a better way. However, it's also not uncommon to find that there are gaps here, that the people preparing the information that's going to be analyzed by someone else aren't necessarily in close communication with the people that are doing the analysis. This does seem to be getting better over time, but it can still be an issue within some organizations. Data engineers typically have a degree in computer science, not in data science or data analytics. They may come from other backgrounds and select cases, but keep in mind that these are more of what's traditionally thought of as an IT role that's been rebranded in a way that takes advantage of the popularity of big data. That covers data engineers, but what about data scientists? On that continuum of the analytics process, data scientists tend to take over where data engineers leave off. Again, in some roles, you're going to find that the data scientists and the data engineers are doing a lot of that same front end work. But most of what a data scientist is spending their time on is after they have access to this data, finding meaning and insight from it for the organization. They'll create reports and analysis, they'll build models, they'll have strong statistical skills, and they'll be able to visualize data that gets communicated to the rest of the organization. 
Data scientists also have strong programming skills, but typically it's in the languages that are common to analytics and data science. So they'll be really good at Python, R, SAS, those sorts of languages. Data scientists sometimes also work on things that I would consider to be heavier in the IT realm of things as we traditionally think of roles. That is, they work on database management and they work on machine learning models. Data scientists are very focused on innovating for the future, creating new models, looking for new insights. Data scientists may come from a background in math, in computer science, or from a dedicated data science, data analytics degree. In terms of pay, data engineers and data scientists make roughly the same. In the low six figures for positions in the US that are more entry level, though of course there's always variation by industry, company, and location. Then as you progress in either of these roles, there's huge upside potential for increased salary well above $100,000. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.